Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to talk about quite a few things. I'm going to kind of give you a peek at what is going on in my head. Through this we're going to kind of find out a lot about what Poetic Anarchy Press is doing, what I'm doing, how we can do things together this year. First off, I just want to share this thing, and I probably do this every year. I'm not sure if I do. It seems like something I would have done. Today is the 54th anniversary. Yeah, I think it's 54th anniversary of something that took place that completely changed um, modern American poetry. Okay. And some literature and stuff like that, too. But, so what happened was, on this day in 1970, okay, some of you already know where I'm going with this, John Martin famously went to Charles Bukowski's apartment, and they had a talk about Bukowski's life and how miserable he was and, um... All this other trash. And then John Martin said, write down a list of how much money you need to get by every month. And so Bukowski wrote out a list. And apparently he was able to live for $100 in 1970. $100 a month. John Martin decided, I'm going to give you a quarter of my earnings, whether you write anything or not, every month for the rest of your life. Now, however this was said, it's been debated and like fancified and all this other stuff. But basically, John Martin said, I'll give you $100 a month for the rest of your life. Now, there were things that changed that amount as time went on. John Martin was able to really launch Black Sparrow Press at that time, kind of get stuff moving. And he said to Bukowski, hey, you know, poetry is great and all, but if you could write a fucking novel, like we might be able to make some fucking money here. You know what I'm saying? John Martin left and like in something in between like 17 and 19 days later, Bukowski um, called John Martin up and said, come pick it up. And John Martin's like, what? And he's like, the novel. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, the novel's done. Come pick it up. And that novel was Post Office. And the rest is history. Bukowski um, cranked out a ton of poetry books. It was probably like one every couple years. Um, big chunkers. And I think he probably wanted to put out more. But the thing is, after Bukowski died in 94, um, John Martin was able to put out probably like another eight or ten big chunker books full of poetry that Bukowski never published. So, whatever. Um, anyway, so that's just an interesting thing because the date of me recording this is January 2nd. So I just thought that would be a fun little tidbit. Now, what that has to do with me is pretty much fucking nothing, okay? There are some things that I want to talk to you guys about and um, some things that we're going to be doing on the channel a lot more um, as time goes here. So first off, I told you guys um, I wanted to do a video last month or last year about all my accomplishments in 2023. And there were a lot, you know, I did a lot of stuff, but I'm kind of in this mindset right now where I really, really don't want to focus on the past. Like, yes, it's great to celebrate your victories. Okay. But I feel like I have been staring at the past for so fucking long that it has been kind of I don't want to say holding me hostage but like I I cuz it's of my own doing but I don't know another way of getting around that and so 
I'm just like, no, I don't want to fucking do that anymore. Like, I don't want to be thinking about all the things I did and then kind of like revel in that for any amount of time. Because if I'm doing that, I'm not doing new stuff. I'm not creating. I'm not focusing forward. And one of the reasons why this came up, um, as some of you know, there is a documentary about me being put together right now. And there will be a lot more news about that probably next month, like, or at the end of this month, because uh, there's some stuff happening with it. But one of the things that has been kind of driving me crazy about that is I keep talking to people who keep telling me how, like, I do more than anyone they know. Like, I'm constantly working. I'm constantly making stuff. I'm constantly, like, my brain's constantly going. I'm constantly doing this. I do more than anyone they know and all this shit. And I'm like, that's bullshit. Like, I don't feel like I'm doing shit right now. And the reason why I felt like I wasn't doing shit is because I was focusing on my past. I was focusing on a bunch of shit that doesn't fucking matter right now. I know this is probably coming off vague. I didn't script this or anything, so I'm just kind of talking off the cuff here. But there's a lot to be said with... I don't know. I feel like if I was focusing on the future more and somebody were to fucking tell me that, I wouldn't be as annoyed by it. I wouldn't be as, like... Like, who the fuck are you? You don't fucking know me. You know? And I feel like that's how I've been, like, coming off to a lot of the people who've been saying stuff like that to me. So, um, and I feel like a lot of it is because I have been completely focusing on my past. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's bad. You know, it like it keeps you from growing. It keeps you from like becoming greater than you were. Okay. Now, this is probably all over the place now, and I probably screwed the pooch here. But what I'm going to be doing more videos on. Um, they are going to be like writing tip videos and stuff like that. And I go through this kind of every once in a while where a bunch of the videos where I'm talking about focus more on mindset than on actual like craft. Okay. Craft could be learned fucking anywhere. And um, I know that I have this big like argument thing between art and craft. Either it comes up a lot or I bring it up a lot. But the thing that most um, art classes or writing courses or any of these things, most of the things that like you learn at these things are just the practical how to do this stuff. But it fucking almost never comes back to how to be you and how to understand yourself and be able to create. Because any schmuck could fucking, like, you know, do the whole, like, well, ass and chair, hands on keyboard, and, like, just talk about, like, composition and grammar and whatever, okay? And if you're talking about like art and painting and shit you could talk about primary colors and fucking um composition on a canvas and things of this nature um and you could you, you could do all of these things but if we aren't taking care of us in here and us in here none of that shit matters absolutely nothing matters okay it just doesn't so 
there's going to be kind of a slew of videos um, where I'm going to try to help you understand your potential from inside you and then how to harness that into actually like creating something and not just creating something but actually being successful in creating that okay so that's one thing that's going to be coming up um another thing that's going to be coming up i'm going through a huge major life change um, I don't know exactly how much of this I should say because things always change, you know, like man plans, God laughs. Like I could tell you tomorrow I'm moving to San Francisco and in three weeks I could be on Mars, you know, like who fucking knows. But the plan as of right now is I am going to be in the process of like minimizing up my entire life, getting rid of as much stuff as humanly possible and um, leaving this apartment and leaving LA. And I think, I'm not 100% here, but I think what I'm going to do is I am going to kind of go across the country a little bit. Now, if you remember um, a couple years ago, I was talking about doing something where I like go on a train and go across the country and come visit a lot of you and put on events where you guys live and just try to do some fun shit. And um, when I tore my knee up, like all that shit went on hold. So I think what I'm going to do is a looser plan of that thing. So um, I'm going to be hopefully in the spring going across the country and hopefully I will be able to stop by and see a bunch of you guys if you guys have channels and you want to do some collab videos or something like that I would love to come to wherever the fuck you are and do that because after that part of this little trip is done I think I'm going to move outside of the continental US and just kind of see where shit takes me. Film what I film, write what I write, kind of just, I don't know, see the world and just experience fucking life. You know, like a, I've been caged up for far too long. Now, with all of this said, some of you might, the first thought might have been, shit, what are you going to do about the chat books? Okay. So the idea with what's going on with the chat books is um, for the next couple months, I'm going to continue to be putting out the chat books. I'm going to try to put two out this month because I didn't put one out in December when I like took my sabbatical. So I'm going to try to get two out. And if you're in the chat book of the month club, um, you'll get both of those when I send those out. Um, I'm way behind on shipments. Like there are so many orders I have to fucking ship out right now that I'm feeling really kind of shit about. But if you are in the chat book of the month club, please send me your address so I have it on hand. And um, I could send you stuff whenever I need to send you shit. If you are an Anarchy crew, or even the Thank You crew, or even Patreon, send me your address because I want to send you guys stuff anyway for just supporting me and shit. Okay? Yeah. So do that. And I'm going to be doing the chat books until one of two things happen. Okay? Either one, I move and leave here, then there will not be print copies of my chat books anymore, or my printer breaks. I've had this printer for years, and I love this printer, and this printer has done, without this printer, I wouldn't have been able to make a living. But um, I do not want to get another printer, because I am not gonna be here. So with that said, the thing that is going to change is that um, there will be digital 
um, versions of future chapbooks, and there will eventually be digital versions of all my chapbooks. And I think what I'm gonna try to do is set something up on my website, because yes, a lot of these are gonna be on Amazon, um, but I think what I wanna do on my website is put everything I've ever done, whether it is poetry, whether it is my novels, my short story collections, the serials, my music um, from either Creeperson or Murder Cult or just my solo stuff, to my short films, to eventually even my feature films once like all of the court shit with my loss, not my lawsuits, but I'm trying to get the rights back to some of my movies right now. Once all that's done, I wanna be able to put all that up somewhere and so for those of you who support me, you have access to fucking everything, okay? Probably what will happen then for those of you who like um, tangible products is that I'm going to be doing print-on-demand books um, either through Amazon or Ingram or some kind of um, thing like that. So, and those, I don't know if I would be able to do those every month, but I could probably do those every three months, okay? Whether it is poetry or short stories or novels or whatever, okay? So that is the plan as far as um, what books are gonna be put out. So for those of you who are into the chat books and the physical, like limited edition chat books and shit, um, there's not going to be many more of these, okay? So this will probably go for, I mean, if I'm planning on leaving here in the spring, then yeah. So I guess maybe like March or April would be the last one um, for the foreseeable future. With that said, I'm trying to get rid of the entire catalog because again, I'm gonna be leaving. I don't wanna have a bunch of stuff I have to take with me. And I also don't want to like put all this shit in storage. So if there are any of my chat books, and if like, cause again, Etsy isn't open anymore. So, or my Etsy isn't. But if you go on my website, I hate look through. If there's any chat books on there that you want, tell me. And um, even if you don't want to get it right now, just tell me and I'll hold it for you and I'll put it off to the side kind of thing. So let me know what you want and then that way it'll be like ready for you whenever you, you want to do it, as long as it's done before I leave, okay? So there's that. Oh, there was one more thing that I didn't get to talk about here. Um, and that is and again, we will talk about this more in these videos that are coming up, but um, as of right now, the Blood Rag and Bloodshed Review hiatus is still in full effect. Um, I don't know when that's coming back, but as of right now, um, I'm not doing it. So if you had poems that I accepted and you want to do other things with those poems now, please, by all means, do that, and I apologize for any inconvenience, but um, I just, I can't, I can't work on that right now. I just, I can't. As far as um, Anarchy Crew stuff goes, I need to work on me just a little bit longer before we go back in doing the writing workshops. And in one of these videos coming up here, um, you'll understand why. There's something that's very, that sticks out like a sore thumb that I need to fix within me in order to do those and be happy doing those things. I know that sounds vague and weird, but you will understand when we get to that point. If anybody wants to do something with me when I'm on the road, let me know as soon as possible so I can start like planning like where I'm gonna go because I don't wanna like zigzag all over the fucking place, you know? Like I would like to be able to move in a general direction. 
Um, and I also don't know if I'm going to be driving or if I'm going to just like fly somewhere and then from there go. I haven't decided yet, but it like, if a bunch of the stuff I'm going to do is going to be on the East coast, then like, I'm not going to like drive all the way to the East coast. I'll just go to the East coast and then get around out there like that. Those are the plans right now, but I have to get rid of everything here. I need to completely minimize my life. Um, I'm going to be going up to Portland um, here pretty soon uh, to, that, that's a whole other story. And then I'm also going to be, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to announce this or not yet, but I'm going to be in, I'll say this, in the Maryland area um, within the next 30 to 60 days. I think that's safe to say I could say it like that. So for those of you in those necks of the woods, um, all of that shit is coming very soon. And um, yeah, so um, happy new year, guys. Don't focus on the past. Focus on the future. Focus on things you can do to expand everything you're doing. And um, hopefully... Over the next few weeks, the videos I put out will be able to help you hit all of those things to do that. Okay? So with all that said, guys, I love you. Type hard. And I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.